Diane, please get me my pills. I accidentally started this already. I didn't mean to. Had a couple of viewers, but uh, I was blowing my nose and shit. I didn't even know I hit start. So now I'm live waiting for people. I haven't done Facebook Live in a long time. So there's nobody watching right now. So I'm just talking to myself, which is much like doing a recorded video. It doesn't matter. My misfit shirt, my homie Wilbur got me because he's a fucking awesome friend. And <coughs> um, I'm just playing with different uh, uh, platforms. Um, if you've been following Strain on Society or you're new to this, I have a YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search Strain on Society and uh, subscribe, 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 because that's where I post it first. That's the first place that I post all these uh, obviously not today because I'm doing a Facebook Live, um, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. There'll be other bits, and they're all going to point to my website as soon as that comes out. Strainonsociety.com, uh, which I own. I've been working on. I'm just uh, I'm a stoner. Um, that's the excuse I'm going to use. I see Mustache Mike is out there. He knows what I'm talking about. Maybe not. I'm just using that as an excuse. Um, oh wow, you can bring friends on camera now. I don't even know. Uh, I didn't even know that was an option. Anyway, it's been a minute. I want to do a live. I want to test out this fucking silverberry. Uh, I like a I like a strain. Most of the time, you know, I, I want to know what I'm smoking. Silverberry, mustache Mike, you're watching. Have you had this? Um, what's up, Jeff? I'm just curious because I can't find a lot of information from it. So, it's uh, based on the information I found. It's a sativa dominant hybrid, uh, and that's only based off of reviews of how it made people feel, which was mostly energetic. Uh, happy, enthusiastic, all those kind of reviews generally associated. Why am I leaning over? Because this feels so weird because I have the camera different. So anyway, I'm going to ring that bell like Mustache Mike said. Silverberry. Now, I think I posted a picture earlier. The smell on the flower itself, was, it was beautiful. It was a great, great smelling flower. Uh, very fruity, floral, very vibrant scents. Let's see what you say. saying. Smoking Gorilla Glue. Yeah, you are. Gorilla Glue I did a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago. That was one of my fucking favorites. I love Gorilla Glue. Um, I haven't had wedding cake yet, though, but I've had mixtures uh, where, where wedding cake was one of the parents uh, of a hybrid. But I haven't just had wedding cake. Man, this tastes good as fuck. It's uh, silver berries. You expect a lot of berry, kind of fruity flavors, but I almost say this is more floral and spicy. It's actually, man, one day I'll remember, I'll, I'll, I'll memorize the name of terpenes. Um, I know there's always the earthy flavor, which is the most, uh, uh, most, strains just about every strain i know has that earthy flavor component to it because it's a fucking flower um that's the most popular or the, or the most dominant terpene in all cannabis strains uh, john walsh is watching i thought it was john walsh for a minute i thought i was about to be on tv for murdering some shit yeah because i'm murdering this goddamn joint you're damn right <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't even be <laughs> wouldn't even be a strain on society if I didn't fucking cough holy shit <laughs> pain management Jeff there's a lot that are good for pain management but I will do some um, focused research for you and uh <laughs> let you know what ones that are like medically prescribed for pain and um there's a lot of them that are <coughs> mustache mike chime in here you probably know some good strains for pain um i'll look more into it jeff there definitely are there, there's there's even some strains that are specifically prescribed for pain and arthritis 
Um, one of my good friends that grew up with in Ohio, she has really bad arthritis now. And I think she just turned 50, but she's always had it. And, um, I'll ask her <coughs> what strain she smokes because she's been smoking for a long, since teenagers, I guess, about as long as I have. But <coughs> she's been an avid user for pain management for her, for her arthritis, so I'll find out. What's up, Chris, out there? Ugh. Can't stop coughing. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> well, you know, when you get the cough, I get to get, I guess I get to know the strain intimately. So I have it. Chris out there in Buda, smoke, meat smoker extraordinaire. You and Jeff and everybody else here probably get along really well. Um, we got a massive smoker, loves barbecue, and, uh, loves the cannabis too i don't know if i'm blowing up your spot chris i certainly don't mean to um no i don't think I am. if it's got purple it's usually good for pain so purple punch uh i love purple punch one of the best flavors uh, this is for you jeff if you're still listening um i can point you in the direction of getting that um god what did i have recently that was one of the darkest flowers i've ever had Mob Boss? I don't remember which one it was. It was so dark purple. And man, it made my body just like mm. uh, melt into my couch and talk about pain relief. Because I know, Jeff, you have that. You have neuralgia, and I also have diabetic nerve pain uh, I am from my you know, ankles down that drives me nuts every night. And I take gabapentin, yeah, and uh, often I can just smoke. But it depends. It really depends on. I've, I'm realizing now. It depends on what shoes I wore that day. Uh, depends on how much I was on my feet. All that. It, it, all that has an effect on how much pain I feel, and it's always in the evening. Um, and that's what I usually smoke indicas because indicas make my body relax, uh, and that's typically what they're what they're known for. Hi, Tina. I hope you're doing well. I was talking about you last night. I had a few friends. Bloop, a few friends come over. Got to see my homie Tony for the first time. Well, I've seen him at a shop, but hang with Tony for the first time in this year, uh, maybe. And uh, we were just talking about National Beard Mustache Championship. And I said that I was thinking about per competing in the, in the business beard, uh, except Tina. And Tina, who's on here, is my barber and her daughter. Uh, and her husband, and but they're not doing any any beard trims due to coronavirus. Um, so I've been trimming it myself. As you can tell, when I trim it myself, it, that means I just shave that motherfucker. I try to taper, and then it just ends up all coming off because I'm not a barber. I'm a professional weed smoker. What's that? An exotic strain called Mackie. Great for pain. Pricey, though. Well, I'll have to talk about that later. I've, I haven't even heard of that, or uh, has it come across my path? And I would certainly like to um, review it for medical purposes, of course, for my friends like Jeff and whoever else out there is in chronic pain uh, like me. Uh, so, I haven't even heard of Maki. I just keep thinking about the hot fucking chip that everybody's uh, uh, been doing that contest with for, for the last couple of years. But I wasn't high before I smoked this. You've seen how many hits I've taken on this. And pretty high already. Uh, and I love that. And I didn't know if I would be because I smoked so much pot last night when people came over. I started at a homie of mine, um, Cornelio, uh, who used to be a... He's, he's been in the news business for a long time as a cameraman, and uh, since the pandemic started, he left Austin and went up to Waco to live, um, living on a, on a family's farm, because grandma and, and other family members are there, and it is helping them out, so he's been up there for a long time. So he came into Austin, um, a great cameraman, uh, uh, and did some video for me, uh, and stayed with us Thursday night. And then we got up yesterday really early. I was up at like five and he wanted to leave early in the morning to go do some shots and video of, uh, at, at, uh, uh, auditorium shores when the sun was coming up and, uh, he's a photographer also and a cameraman. So got up super early yesterday 
and I had to download or extract his file, you know, share his files on my laptop and all that. So we started smoking super early and I smoked all day. I did a review of another one yesterday and yesterday. Um, and then I had some friends come over last night where we just smoked out. And I was going to film a review of last night and I started to film it and I got my friend Wilbur uh, some questions asked and then that was it. And then my wife was like, oh, you should take the camera upstairs you're not using it. And I did. I noticed how I shift the blame to my wife. Fucking good at that. And then all of a sudden our friend Dwayne started, uh, he got there late because he was coming back from Dallas or Fort Worth and he was just telling some of the funniest fucking stories. One about uh, his daughter almost falling off and dying on a roller coaster. They were at Six Flags. That wasn't that, wasn't that funny. Um, but then telling a really, really fun weed, weed story. I'm going to have him on the show soon. He'll tell it again uh, about him and George Car or not George Carlin. Uh, even though, fuck, that would be uh, awesome. George Clinton. Um, and uh, I forget. It was, I was asking him about his favorite strain. So I'm going to ask him about that anyway. I talked to Wilbur about it. I was going to talk to other smokers that were there. And uh, as the term goes, and then I got high. And Diane, are you really watching this? Because you're... Aren't you right behind me? You could just open the door and listen. Whatever. I appreciate your support, Diane. You sexy son bitch. Um, I don't know if you saw that, Jeff Ray. Um... What my homie had posted about that specific, specific. I didn't want to curse you out on your video. Why would you curse me out? Because you made me take the camera up. Because you blame me when the camera stopped yeah. for two hours. But when you're not <laughs> here, I because I can blame you because you're not on video and it I'm makes. Listening. Can't even blame a wife these days without having them fucking chime in, Chris. Anyway, uh, Jeff, if you saw his post, I might be able to find that for you. Um, and that, uh, I don't know. Pain management is one of the biggest things that cannabis supports me with. Having herniated discs and all that bullshit. Um, don't, Tammy, don't start talking. Don't, don't, don't give her. Don't, 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 don't pay her any attention. Come on. For God's sakes. I appreciate all seven of the fans. <laughs> Facebook Live is so fun. Anyway, God damn it, let's get back to this. Why are you guys distracting me? Chris, why don't you just start smoking your meat right in front of me, knowing I don't eat it, but I love that smell. And Tammy, can I get can a motherfucker get some bread? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bread is the fucking bomb. I'm over here eating gummy bears like a six year old. The asterisk, I don't obviously support six year olds eating uh, edibles. Um, Maybe I do. If they're misbehaving publicly, give them a fucking edible. See what happens. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not a doctor, and I don't have any kids. Um, I know I slip some to Diane too when she when she's acting up. And we're out in public. But I digress, and break laws. Apparently, I know Tammy. That's some of my best shit. I love it. Love, love, love that stuff. Hell's yeah, banana bread. Hell's yes. That's one of my favorites. Diane just made a. What did she make? Uh, let's see, this is just how easy it is to do it. What kind of bread did you make? Maybe? Just recently? Yeah. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe bread, because we got, I haven't had a really good cantaloupe yet this year. And I love cantaloupe, and this cantaloupe we got was, mm, so Diane made a cantaloupe uh, bread with it. It's fucking amazing. Uh, it's really, really good, but um, I love, love, love that banana bread. Holy shit. Uh, that's a good story about that banana bread. Maybe I'll share it with you now. Um, we had had one night. <clears throat> it's a hard story, but I'll share it anyway. Uh, we had had this uh, edible banana bread. It was so good. And it was a, a couple months after we had put Titan down. And Diane went out to walk Malia for her end, end of night pee poop time. And we had eaten some of this bread and Malia just dropped and uh and drop dead so i don't know now i'm rethinking should i tell this story but what saved me from totally losing it because we had to go out and if you guys ever met malia she was 100 plus pounds we were in the middle of a courtyard so we had to take a blanket out there put her body in it carry it to the car with her tongue hanging out and her eyes open looking at it, it was a little oh you want horrible but what saved me is i'd eaten that bread that night um so I wasn't having an emotional freak out at that time. Um, 
the next day, huge. Uh, but Diane was having an emotional freak out. We had, and it was just a horrible evening, but that bread is what kept me feeling okay and grounded versus losing my shit uh, from Malia passing away. So that's just, just, I mean, all stories aren't happy. Um, uh, she was, what a great dog we had. And the side of, of one of the main reasons I use cannabis is for anxiety. And, and that proved that night uh, that it helped because I would have gone into a severe anxiety attack carrying my dog on a blanket with Diane to the car. Um, had I not been, had I not had eaten edibles, had I not had that THC in my system, um, I mean, it was, it would have been much, much, much harder. So that's one of the main reasons that I smoke cannabis, uh, daily is religiously, uh, often all day is, is because it does help me not, I go from fucking chill the fuck out to smashing windows in a matter of seconds I can um, and so cannabis helps me not do that um, and it helps with pain and it, it, there's so many different reasons that we can get into hemp and all this stuff but most of y'all watching now are the choir you know it should be legal in Texas it's fucking stupid not to mention how it would boost the fucking economy here uh, what's up, Robin? We missed you last night, our little stoner-thon. I was going to film, uh, record you, too, talking about different strains for an episode. Poolside, we were all poolside episode, a strain on society, and I ended up just recording Wilbur for about two minutes and took some pictures. And this other, I didn't even make the fucking podcast. Um, once again, I blame Diane. Is she here? Still back there? Y'all don't know Diane. Diane, she's a motherfucker. Seriously, she fuck you up. I don't even give a fuck. Cut you. Uh, she likes me, and I know she'll cut me. So imagine what she'd do to your ass. Make sure she ain't coming. You're welcome, Tammy. I I, I don't know that I've, I've necessarily publicly ever shared that. Um, but it was true, and it, it, uh, I will always remember that night. I think it might have been one of the first times I had that bread, and I remember being feeling so relaxed and comfortable in that situation and allowing Diane to experience her experience, and I was able to breathe, uh, to breathe it out. And not that I didn't have tears or emotions or anything, but to, to, to not... Because if we both were freaking out, then we wouldn't have been able to handle the business of like picking up a, our, our, our dog's body and taking it to the, the vet, ER vet, and uh, whatever. Uh, I miss that girl so much. Um, the cannabis has helped me through a lot of those kind of experiences in life. Um, and not to mention the multiple herniated discs and all that. Um, yeah, Robin's out there busting ass and working. Her dog, by the way, was the one that uh, her dog, Fluffy White Biscuits. Follow her on Instagram at Fluffy White Biscuits. It's the first time we've had a sponsor um, for the show, sponsoring a, a strain. Well, that's not necessarily two. My dude uh, sponsors me some samples of these strains, like the one I'm smoking now. I'm thinking, did he sponsor this or did I buy it? Silverberry. I think he just gave me a couple buds and I rolled a joint. Um, <clears throat> but. A specific outside sponsor from a dog so that was awesome uh fluffy white biscuits sponsored super jack strain which is uh jack hair as you know one of my favorites super jack is super silver haze hybrid with jack hair um was it great no it was super <laughs> wordsmith so silverberry i know i'm all over the place Saturday morning, I've had a shit ton of, co of coffee, and now I'm getting high. It's all my favorite things to do. Um, I will obviously say, if you can't tell, let me just, you get into my eyes. I'm high as a motherfucker. Uh, I can feel, you know, this is what I don't understand. Maybe are any of my friends out there, Jeff, you're in your 50s. I'm almost 50. Um, why does cannabis now make the bags under my eyes like puts a spotlight on them you know what i mean like you always get that kind of high and now at 48 at 48 years old look that motherfucker you, i could carry change in these bitches and when i get high look how deep they get like i seriously i could use this as a wallet 
Uh, damn, I'm not to get some skincare regimens going because yeah, I'm vain. I care. I mean, if you look, if you're, if you look this handsome, uh, why wouldn't you maintain it? I understand you ugly motherfuckers out there. Y'all don't care about that shit, but I need some. I need some, apparently I need a regimen. Uh, I don't know if it's putting uh, goddamn uh, hemorrhoids medication under my eyes or cucumber or getting a lift. No, I'm not doing all that. Um, I mean, I'll put some cucumbers on my eyes, but I'm not. I'm not getting anything surgically done. Um, no, but I, don't, I just don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm high as fuck. So that's a good indication of, of how uh, how good Silverberry is. Not overwhelming terpenes. Like, you know, I often talk about, I love a, I love a fucking uh, a flower that's, di I, I call it disrespectful. When it's disrespectful to me, when I smoke it and it's got that just funk. Um, and I love the disrespect. Because every time I get disrespected by a flower profile, by the flavor profile, I get dis disrespected by the high. And I like being disrespected. I like being offended uh, by, by strains. I like to put my nose in a jar and just be like, whoa, that's gross. Uh, because I actually love it deep down. And I know that high is going to fucking, uh, is going to be nice. So this on the one is not disrespectful at all. It's not offensive. It tastes quite pleasant. Like I said, it's floral, has that floral uh, uh, flavor palette, spicy uh, and peppery and fruity uh, and earthy. It's got, it's got all the major terpenes running through. It's not gassy. Um, it's definitely more of an earthy, uh, uh, floral, fruity, pleasant. I would say it's pleasant. So it's definitely not disrespectful, definitely not offensive. It's pleasant, but um, that's just one side, one one element of liking cannabis and liking strains, the terpenes, the flavor, uh, flavor profiles, all that. I like citrus, sweet. Obviously, I'm a diabetic. Do you think that stops at my cannabis flowers? <laughs> no. What's up, Drew? Don't blame the weed on getting old. Drew, could you go find me a copy of um, The Emperor Wears No Clothes? Drew is my favorite librarian in the whole world and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a member of the bearding com community. And man, I can't find that book by Jack Hare. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I have a Jack Hare kick. Um, everywhere I find it on eBay or anything, it's so fucking expensive. I'm wondering if there's any library services that have it. Drew, I don't, I'm not asking you to do work for me. Uh, I'm just wondering. That's all that is. What's up, Arn? Out there in Northern California. Man, I feel like I haven't seen Arn in a long time. It's been since Worlds. I don't know. Anyway, I'm distracted because I'm high. I'm stoned like a woman who accidentally showed her feet in the Old Testament. You like that? I'm going to start using uh, old stones like Old Testament terms. Oh, what is happening right now? How did you do that? Somebody just added a... Uh, what is going on on live here? That's fucking dope. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I am getting a, a gif pointed on my screen of somebody waving with a bow tie. I'm assuming it's Willy Wonka. I can't see the face. I'm, I'm thinking it's Gene Wilder's brilliant portrayal of Willy Wonka. Because it looks like a wild tux with a really roughly bow tie. I could be wrong. I don't want to go inside and get my readers. But I'm done. If you can get your hands on uh, Silverberry, put it in your face. It was fun to do a Facebook Live. It was fun seeing all you guys. Looking forward to that bread. Jeff, I'll get back to you um, possibly with some help. And uh, talk to y'all soon. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Love. Love, love, love is what we need more of. So please give more of that. Thanks. Bye.